you are watching Redicon. Inceptionary fracture or stress fracture are increasing, increasingly being recognized, uh, partly due to low exposure to sunlight or vitamin D deficiency. Patient may have uh, stress-inducing activity that brings on the pain suddenly or inability to weight bear uh, might be the presenting complaint. What you get is that on stir or water sensitive sequence you get marrow edema within the area of interest and if you have a T1 corresponding sequence you may see a thin linear low signal intensity running through that area of marrow edema which would suggest a trabecular microfracture or non-displaced fracture and it's a quite classical appearance of stress or insufficiency fracture. So uh, we have got an image here, uh, knee pain after trauma, so there is a suprapatellar effusion, so there has been some damage uh, intraarticular. Uh, can, any, can we see a fracture in this, uh, on this radiograph? Uh, lateral joint space is slightly widened, uh, but you can't see any fracture lines, so let's move on to the next image. Here you go, so this is just to demonstrate to you that there is the value to get an early MRI uh, because the non-displaced or microtrabecular fractures can be difficult to diagnose on plain radiographs until they become displaced or patient becomes more symptomatic. So as in this case, uh, I think it's important to recognize the full extent of injury early so that an appropriate treatment can be planned. So uh, please consider uh, doing an early MRI, especially if the uh, x-ray is unremarkable but patient is still in significant pain or discomfort or he or she is not able to weight bear. Osteochondritis desiccans or osteochondral lesions are, uh, can be diagnosed on radiographs. The value of MRI is to see the size of the lesion, uh, to see if it is stable or unstable and if, if there has been um, uh, detachment of the osteochondral fragment and to see where the fragment is lying. So what are the signs of unstable osteochondral lesion? Well, you can get sub uh, cystic changes in the underlying bone, like in this image here represented by the red arrow, or you may get a linear fluid signal intensity at the base of the osteochondral lesion between the uh, underlying bone and the osteochondral fragment. That is a reliable uh, MR sign of uh, unstable osteochondral lesion. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.